The second part of vector algebra deals with vector calculus. So we would start with dot product of two vectors a bar and b bar. The dot product of two vectors a bar and b bar is denoted by a bar dot b bar. Dot product is valid only for vectors. So if someone asks you what is the dot product of a bar dot 2 or 3 dot b bar, it is invalid. So you cannot take dot product to a scalar quantity. Dot product can be applied only to two vectors. So given two vectors a bar and b bar, a dot b bar is a dot product of these two vectors. So if you know the angle between the two vectors a bar and b bar to be theta, then mathematically a bar dot b bar can be found out as a bar dot b bar is equal to mod a bar mod b bar cos theta and do you have anything here no dot product of two vectors always yields a scalar quantity remember very important you will see dot product and cross product many times in field theory course so you need to understand that you need to take dot product of two vectors you always get a scalar quantity so think of a scalar when you are trying to find out the dot product of two vectors. Now, how do you define the dot product of two vectors a bar and b bar? The dot product of two vectors a bar and b bar is defined as the product of magnitudes of a bar, b bar and cosine of what is this angle? Cosine of the smallest angle between the two vectors. Theta is the smallest angle between the two vectors. Why is it called smallest angle? Mathematically, if you were asked to find out the angle between the two vectors using dot product, you would find out cos theta as a bar dot b bar by mod a mod b, right? And then you will find out theta as cos inverse of this quantity. So the solution, general solution would be 2n pi plus r minus 18 degrees or 36 degrees where n is equal to 0, 1, 2, dash, dash, dash. So, you find many angles between these two vectors, but you consider only that angle corresponding to n is equal to 0. So, always when you are asked to find out theta, the angle between the two vectors using dot product, find out the smallest angle. That means, find out that angle for n is equal to 0. Okay? Don't worry about uh, how to find out the angle, uh, uh, the smallest angle. Okay, or how to how do we know whether it is the smallest angle or largest angle that you get? So usually, when you use your scientific calculator and you take the cos inverse of it, so whatever you get would be the smallest angle. But do remember that you know there are other angles that are possible. Now you know how to find out the angle between the two vectors using dot product with this equation: cos theta is equal to a bar dot b bar by mod a bar mod b bar. Right. Now what about b bar dot a bar. How do you find out b bar dot a bar? If I use the same formula as I told you earlier, a bar dot b bar is equal to mod a mod b cos theta. Now b bar dot a bar would be equal to mod b bar mod a bar cos of what is the angle between the two vectors? If the angle between a bar and b bar is theta, what is the angle between b bar and a bar? That is still theta because angle is a scalar quantity. And these are all numbers, right? Mod B is one number, mod A is one number, cos theta is one number. Can I write this as mod A, mod B, cos theta? And this is equal to A bar dot B bar. Now you see, A bar dot B bar is equal to B bar dot A bar. And what is this property? This is the commutative property. So the dot product of two vectors satisfies the commutative property. Since the dot product of two vectors results in a scalar quantity, you now the commutative property holds good for the dot product of two vectors. Scalars will never create problems. It is always the vectors that create issues. Okay, And whenever you, you try to find out the dot product of two vectors, the result is always simple and is also easy to analyze. 
Now this is one way of finding out the dot product of two vectors. What is the other way? Given the Cartesian form of A bar and B bar, as you know, A bar in Cartesian coordinate system can be represented as AX X cap plus AY Y cap plus AZ Z cap and B bar can be represented as BX X cap plus BY Y cap plus BZ Z cap. How do you find out the dot product of two vectors when their Cartesian forms are known? So AX, AY, AZ, BX, BZ, these are numbers. And finding out the dot product of these two vectors means take one component of A bar and take the dot product with all the other components of B bar. And do the same thing for the other components of vectors. So I'll, I'll tell you how to take the dot product of these two vectors. AX X cap dot BX X cap. Capital AX dot capital BX. Dot product of scalars is just a number. Right? So dot there is there is nothing called dot product for scalars. It's a multiplication. In fact a dot product and cross products are similar to the, the multiplications of scalars. Okay? Since you, you you are trying to define the multiplication of vectors in two different ways. One method is using dot product, the other one is using cross product. However, each one has its own physical significance that we will discuss in the later parts of this topic. So when you take the dot product of these two, this would be AX, BX, X cap dot X cap plus AX, BY, X cap dot Y cap plus AX BZ X cap dot Z cap plus dash dash dash. So I would like you to fill up this part. Then you take AY BX Y cap dot X cap plus AY BY Y cap dot Y cap AY BZ Y cap Z cap dash dash dash. Okay. Now how will you find out X cap dot X cap? or x cap dot y cap or x cap dot z cap. If you remember, in a Cartesian coordinate system, the three axes in a Cartesian coordinate system, they are mutually perpendicular axes, right? x, y and z. So x cap is along x axis, y cap is along y axis and z cap is along z axis, correct? Tell me, what is x cap dot x cap? X cap is a unit vector. The magnitude of X cap is 1. So what is X cap dot X cap? Mod X cap is 1. Mod X cap is 1. And the angle between X cap and X cap is 0. Okay. Cos 0 is equal to 1. So X cap dot X cap is equal to is equal to 1. And what is X cap dot Y cap? X cap dot Y cap is equal to 0. It should be a scalar quantity. It's a scalar 0. Even though the magnitudes are equal, that is equal to 1, but the angle between x cap and y cap is 90 degrees. They are perpendicular to each other. So cos 90 is equal to 0. Then x cap dot z cap is equal to 0 again. Okay. So using this, using this property of the dot product of the unit vectors, so you can also find out what is y cap dot x cap y cap dot y cap, y cap dot z cap, right? Only y cap dot y cap will be equal to 1. Similarly, z cap dot x cap will be 0, z cap dot y cap will be equal to 0, z cap dot z cap will be equal to 1, okay? So, substitute those values here and a bar dot b bar will now be equal to ax bx plus ay by plus az bz az bz right which means from now onwards if i give you two vectors a bar and b bar in their cartesian form and if i ask you to find out the dot product of two vectors okay, just multiply the corresponding components and all of them so ax into bx plus ay into by plus az into pz right and if i ask you to find out b bar dot a bar what will be your answer bx into ax plus by into ay 
plus bz into az. And still it is a number, you see, it's like 2 into 3 plus 3 into 4 plus 4 into 5. It's again a number. So the dot product of two vectors again yields a scalar quantity. Clear to all of you? Okay. Now, let us go to the, the next one. That is...